So there's going to be a concave back so we go see it. But it's nice to dress it up. For right. All right, uh, we're sitting here with my bear that I killed while I was in Quebec. Uh, this is David Church with Dave's Taxidermy in St. Clair, Missouri. And uh, he's going to kind of walk through what a taxidermist is looking for uh, whenever he gets a bear hide in, how you can take proper care of it. He's actually leaving tomorrow on a bear hunt. And uh, I guess I'm assuming you're going to be doing all the dirty work up there too. Oh yeah, that's the perks <laughs> of being a taxidermist. <laughs> All right. But uh, yeah, basically the, what we're looking for on the bear is on his front paws after you get him killed. And I always tell people wear gloves when you're field dressing any animal, but especially bears just because of the different blood diseases they could carry. But uh, first thing what you're looking for is you want to basically make an eye <clears throat> when you skin this bear out. You want to go starting in the middle of his paw and you want to cut all the way down the center of his front leg and you want to try to cut this armpit area right in two. <clears throat> okay, and then once you get to there, you're going to get right to where his chin comes down here. You're going to basically just want to take this cut and go all the way across and all the way across to the other front leg. Now you can get up into here. <clears throat> the biggest thing is the reason you want to cut this is because you want to make the least amount of will work for your taxidermist, it'll make him really happy. But uh, <clears throat> what'll happen is when you lay this bear out to have a rug, you know, if you want it to be even, you want everything to be even and square. And what'll happen sometimes if you skin it wrong, you'll have to cut a little off, sew it back in here. But basically then go all the way down, <clears throat> all the way down to his belly. And then when you get to his back legs, instead of going down the center like you did on the front, you want to start <clears throat> at the base of his heel and you want to aim towards the back half of his leg. Go down the back half of his leg about <clears throat> three or four inches from its vent area and then all the way across um, <clears throat> to your other leg. And that's basically it. You're going to cut these off at the joint, leave the paws and the head in because most places when you cross the border you're going to have these all intact to get your bear back into the States. And uh, as far as rolling them up, when, after you skin them out, you want to let them sit in the cool area in the shade. Uh, don't roll them up. As soon as you kill them and all that heat, all that heat will get trapped and you'll have some uh, <clears throat> hair slippage. But once he's cooled down, you can basically just fold him in skin to skin. You know, wrap his legs up here. <clears throat> and to make it easier too when you're going across the border, if you wrap it like this, throw his head over there because they're going to want to look at that bear's head and then uh, get him in the freezer as quick as he can. That's basically all there is.